Hey guys, ADHD Craft here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Ender Dragon house. Um, so if you guys built it, um, feel free to send me a picture of it on Instagram or Twitter, I'd love to see it. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need for this house is a potion of night vision, which you don't really need, I'd like to drink them. <laughs> Obsidian, white wool, red wool, purple wool, uh, grass blocks just in case you make mistakes, and you don't need that. Um, we'll need some other stuff as we get deeper into the house, but for right now, that's what you're going to need is these four blocks right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to do is find, you know, wherever you make your house, we're going to be going to the right making the mouth, so the, this is going to be the front of your house right here. Um, but yeah, this is what you're, just, just find where you're going to put the house. And we're going to go ahead and clear out 14 blocks going that way. So we have 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and then from here we're going to go in one and do the same thing. And just clear it up to the same length, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to go this way, and we're going to go ahead and go, oops, let's go ahead and go back to where we were. We're just going to bring it right here. We're going to go 12 blocks. It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then from here we're going to go the rest of the length, and just match it up with that side. So just go ahead and clear it out. And just make sure when you get over here, it's near the same length. Oops. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing we did on that side, and just go in one, and, you know, clear it out like that. Okay. And then now what we're gonna do is just fill all of that with obsidian. Just like this, just go ahead and clear it all in. And this is basically gonna be like his like the, his bottom jaw, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> like the, uh, the bottom of his mouth, so. Yeah, this is the, where's the, where's the mouth is actually, the, honestly, the hardest part. So once we get done with this, I, you know, I'll be, you know, I'll show you guys the head. But the head is pretty much just a square with just some small stuff on it. And, you know, we'll get to that. Let's go ahead and, you know, finish this up. So you got that done. Okay, perfect. If you have it done, good for you, clap for yourself. Okay, so now that you have that done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and get from right here, you're gonna go up three blocks, one, two, three, and then do it again, one, two, three, then again, one, two, three, again, one, two, three, so it should be a square of three blocks high, just like that. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and go up six blocks, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then again, just match it up to that height. And then down here, we're gonna go ahead and do two blocks in front of that, so we're gonna make like a staircase, and then one block down here. And then we're gonna do the same thing you just did over here in the front. Okay, just go ahead and add that up just like that. And you can go ahead and bring it across if you want, because we're gonna connect it anyway. So, just go ahead and add it, boom. And then go ahead and connect it right here. And then you know, add that one up all the way as well. And then do the same thing, go by threes. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then one, two, and one, two, and one, one. Okay, so this is what you should have. And that basically is the bottom part of his jaw and then, you know, the back of his mouth. And, you know, we're gonna clear out that grass and stuff, but um, for right now, this is what we've got. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the top now. So for the top, what you're gonna do is just go on the bottom blocks we have right here. We're gonna do this on both sides. And all you're gonna do is wrap it all the way, or just we'll start from right here, just push it down to the same length as these blocks right here in the front, just by pushing it all the way across, just like this. Okay, and just make sure they're equal length of each other, and then do the same thing up here. I try and make my tutorials a lot about connecting, that's why it's easy. You only have to learn how to do something once, and then you just connect everything in there. So, that's all you have to do right here is just do that, just connect them, and then again right here, just like that. And then again, we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Just bring it all the way across. Okay, there we go. Bring it all the way across, just like this. Make sure they're connected, same length. Then again over here. And then again over here. <laughs> A lot of the same thing, so just keep bringing it all over here. Okay, almost done here, guys. So then once you have all that done, you're just going to connect the front right here, just like this. And it's going to be the same thing as the side. It's going to be two. You're going to go two blocks in, just like this. And then bring it again up here. Oops, not yeah, right there. You're gonna bring it all the way in. And then again, right here, just gonna bring it in, just like this. Okay. And then on the top row, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the top row and just bring it all the way across. You know, the whole top. You know, leave this whole opening closed. And this is where we're gonna put our, you know, his nose, you know, whole things, whatever. <laughs> but we'll do that later. So just go ahead and you know fill in this hole on top. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 <laughs> this is always like the most like weird part is just me building 
back and forth. <laughs> I consider cutting it out, but it's really not that long. Okay, so let's go ahead and just fill it in. And then over here, what you're gonna do is go one block down and just fill this in right here, this block right here. And then on the top, we're gonna purple wool, ooh, purple wool, <laughs> purple wool, and just go ahead and uh, fill all this in right here. Okay, and this is basically just the roof of his mouth. You don't even really see this unless you walk. At least if you looked up, you would. So just fill this in. And I actually don't think on the um, the original you know showcase I did of this build, this wasn't like this. But I think it looks a lot better like this after I changed it after the showcase video. So just go ahead and you know, fill all this in just like this. And oh, okay. So now down here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your obsidian, and or we're gonna get the uh, the your purple wool, and we're just gonna bring this all the way across, and then bring it all the way into the middle, and then find the center. So the center would be like right here and leave a three space like this and get your red wool and then just go like this and make a little doorway and that's basically like his like esophagus i don't know <laughs> that's just basically where his tongue's gonna be and everything so i'm um, go ahead and get the purple wool and just bring this across just like this and fill it all the way in and then you just gonna close it up on top okay and now the his inner dragon mouth is almost done Okay, so now what you're going to do is get the floor right here, and you're going to find our door, and we're going to go ahead and just clear out this spot right here, and you're going to bring this all the way to the front, and then we're going to bring it through his mouth, just so it's like his tongue's, you know, extended out like this. Okay, so we're going to bring this all the way out, and then once you get to here, you're going to be going, maybe let's just go ahead and say six blocks out that way, so it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then again, we're going to just bring this rest of this out like this too. And then once you're over here, all you have to do is get your red wool and bring it in like this, or not bring, bring it out like this one, and then out like this one, kind of like a uh, you know snake's tongue like this. And then you're gonna bring the tongue all the way back in just like this. Okay, and we're just gonna fill that in. And some people um, actually suggested that you use the um, what's it called, the red ore block, but. Um, or the red ore, the redstone block, there we go. Uh, not the redstone, you know what I'm talking about, the the one that's like, let me see if I can find it so I can give you guys an example. It's um, this block right here, there you go, the block of redstone, there you go, but I didn't really like the way it looked, I tried it, I don't think it looks as good. So we're just gonna go ahead and you know, fill the rest of this in, and then again over here, just clear this out. Okay, boom, 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 yada, 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 almost done. This is the most annoying part, is clearing out spots. Okay, and then we're done with that. You're gonna get your purple wool and do the same thing we've done with the rest of the mouth and just fill, fill all of it in just like this. We're gonna drink a night vision because I'm a night vision addict. I need to go to night vision anonymous. I don't know. <laughs> go ahead and clear the rest of this out. Lamest jokes ever. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and actually uh, leave space right here because you want to put the uh, obsidian. It's gonna be everywhere around, it's gonna be two in. So, you know, ignore that and actually move it in. Okay, and then bring it in just like this right here connect it and then right here the same thing bring it in connect it and you know we're almost done almost done with this part at least <laughs> and then once you're done with that boom there you go so this is our ender dragon's mouth as of right now it looks like he is an old an old man ender dragon that has no teeth <laughs> so we're gonna do the teeth now because it looks really weird like that <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and add the teeth and what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in right here and you're gonna go a space of two and then a one, then a space of one, then one, then a space of one, then one, then a space of one, then one, and then actually there you know, space of one, right, after the space of one right here, you're gonna have two, just like this. So it'll be one, three regular teeth, then one sharper tooth, and then it's gonna be one, two, and then a third that goes three pieces, or three blocks down, and then over here it's gonna be one down here in the front. So it should look just like this, you know? Pretty simple. And then we're gonna come in here, uh, come in here and go a space of one, then a, oh, then a white wool right here, and then a space of one, then a white wool, then a space of one, then two white wool, then a space of one, then two white wool, then three white wool, and then one right here. All right, so now that's his, you know, little front teeth right there, and we're gonna go ahead and get started on the front of his mouth now. Okay, sorry if you guys hear my, uh, you know, mouth clicking. <laughs> so right here next to the tongue, you're gonna put one, and then right here on this side of the tongue, you're gonna put one, and then just look straight up and put one, and then one in the middle, then one, oop, then one in the same spot as that one. And then you're gonna do is go a space of one and put you know our three teeth just like that that are in the front and then the same thing right here. 
and put one down. And then we're just gonna match up what we have on this side. So it'd be two like this, and then, you know, one right here, and one, then one. And then on top, the same thing. We're just gonna match up the side in front of us. Okay, and we are almost done. He is no longer Old Man Ender Dragon. <laughs> so now we have his mouth done, and we're gonna get working on, you know, the nose and the actual head part. So let's get started. All right, guys, we are back, and let's get started on the head. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna need now is the obsidian. We still have the same blocks, so we're gonna do is add flint and steel. Um, but we'll get to that later. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find our, you know, the mouth where we are right now, and you're gonna go ahead and move one block out just like this and go straight up and you're gonna go to the top right here. When we get to this point right here, the same height as the mouth we got right here, you're gonna add five more of these. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Then you come on this side and do the same thing. Cut them out one block and then do the same thing all the way up and then get to the same height as the mouth. And then one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And then go ahead and just uh, bring these across to each other and connect them. Okay just like so and then from right here in the bottom we're gonna go this way 14 blocks to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen all right and then we're gonna do the same thing over here we're just gonna you can just bring it across we're just gonna connect it to the uh, same length as the side over there and then if, you know you guys probably already know what we're gonna do just connect this piece right here as I try and as I'm saying I try and do my tutorials like this it's a lot simpler if you just you know do things once and just connect them so now what we're doing is just bringing this across right here, and again, we're just going to connect them again. You're just going to match up this corner to this corner, and you're just going to connect them. You're making a big cube, okay? And then again, you're going to bring this one all the way to the same length as the one below us, just like this. And then when you get to that length, I mean, there you go. And then just go ahead and connect this one. All right, almost there. Oops, okay. We are one off. So just make sure they're all connected equally. And then go ahead and bring this one up too. And boom, so this is what it should look like. And we are done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, that's what the head we've got right here. And now we're gonna do with the nose real quick just to get out of the way. Let me just go, you're gonna hear a lot of clicking here in this part actually guys, because I'm trying to, you know, make sure I have all the pictures ready for you guys. Because I'm basing it off of my original build, you know? So it's like I have to look for a picture of them. I, I take screenshots of them. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the nose real quick to get out of the way. So you're gonna find the front of the uh, the front of the the you know the, the nose or the mouth, and you're gonna go in two blocks, and then two blocks away. So it'll be right here. So it's gonna be in two blocks and two blocks away from the right. So it'll be like this, and it's gonna be two just like that. And then you do the same thing on this side. Go in two blocks and two blocks on the right, and boom, it's gonna be where it is. So they should match up just like this. And make sure it's three. I think it's either two or three. We'll find out right now for you guys. Yes, yeah, two. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> so there you go. I was just, I was curious, you know, I was not sure about, <laughs> but um, we're done now with that part. So this whole, the mouth is completely done. So now we're just going to be focusing on the head. So we're going to work in the eyes right now because that's honestly the only difficult part, really. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So for the eyes, you're going to do is you're going to find the mouth area right here. Oh, we're going to need uh, magenta wool, too, guys. Sorry about that. You're going to need magenta wool. And you're just gonna go in from the, you're gonna find the mouth right here where it ends. You're gonna go in one block, and then we're gonna go ahead and do obsidian all the way in this bottom piece right here, just so you have a platform real quick. So obsidian all the way in this bottom block. And then when you find this little corner where the head and the mouth stop right here, you're gonna go in one block and go straight up with obsidian. And then we do the same thing on that side, go in one block, then straight up with obsidian. And then from these sides, you're just gonna do this. You're gonna go one magenta wool, then another one on top of that. And then it's going to be a space, so you're just going to put one, just a space, leave that space there. And then it's going to be a diagonal one, just like that. And then over here, do the same thing. It's going to be a mag diagonal magenta, the magenta, and then, you know, straight up like this. Oops, wrong, my bad, guys. <laughs> so it should look like this. It'll be two, then a space, then this right here, and then the magenta. And then now what you're going to do is we're going to be making the ender portal behind it in order to get its eyes to be all, you know, trippy looking and crazy. <laughs> so. For that, what you have to do is just make an ender portal. You know, you guys have done that before. You just have to make one real quick, because all you have to do is just, you know, find exactly where it is. You know, you have to just, it doesn't really matter how you do it, as long as you get the ender portal to be within the range of the eyeball, you know. It'll be easier if we have custom uh, ender portals, or nether, or ender portal, what are they called? Nether portals, there you go. Keep calling it ender portal. But, um, 
So what you have to do is that, and then just go ahead and light it and see if it works without, you know, I guess so just unlight it. And then you're just gonna cover it up right here, the part that you don't see. And then go ahead and do it right here too, just like this. Okay. And there you go, so that's his eyeball right there, and it's got all the got the glow and everything. And then we'll do it over here, the same thing. Okay, just gotta make our uh, portal. Ugh, hate making these portals. And sometimes, if it doesn't light, you might have to, because um, I had this issue when I made it the first time, you might have to remove the eyes temporarily and then do the portal, because if, you know, just sometimes they won't light, right? It's weird, but it's, it doesn't work sometimes. So let's see if it works. Yeah, there you go, it worked fine. Okay, and then go ahead and do the, um, the uh, your, you know, what's called the, uh, I can't even remember the name of these blocks, guys. <laughs> the obsidian. Let's go ahead and fill all this whole front in right here with the obsidian. And we're not done yet with the eyes. So this is what we should have right now. And I know some of you guys actually commented, you know, oh, why don't you, you know, leave the, the, uh, you know, the eyes open for a window inside the house because you can kind of see through them. And I, don't know, I just didn't like that. If you guys don't care, you know, you guys can like this. But um, I like it like this. I put them at the, um, the purple wool behind it. And I just think it gives it a little bit more of a, um, it makes the eyes pop a little bit more, but you can't see out them obviously when you're in. And then even if this was a window, you guys left like, you know, like a few people left a comment saying you, know, you should leave the eyes open, but you can't even see anything through this. It's just like his nose. So there's really no point. So I would suggest um, doing this and putting a, what did I just mess up? But I will fix it in the front. And just put the uh, the purple wool in the, uh, the front part right here because I just feel like that gives the eyes more of a pop. And then that's what it should have right here. So as you can see, now the eyes look more solid and we're almost done guys. So now all you're gonna do is we're gonna get the obsidian and you're just gonna cover up all of these squares, like all of these four corners, these uh, this wall. So right here, right here, and right here, and then the top two. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead, but literally all you're gonna do is just fill in what's open. You know, the floor we're gonna leave like that for right now, but all these openings, okay? All right guys, so now we have all of that filled in. It's, uh, you know, we're starting to get done here, we're almost done. Okay, so now we're gonna do the top of his head real quick. And what you're gonna use your white wool. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find, you're gonna go in three blocks. And it'll be, so it'll be like, you know, it'll just be one, two, three, so it'll be right here. And then in four blocks, so that's perfectly placed right here. So in three from the, the if you're like in the side of his head, you're gonna go in three blocks and then from the front four blocks. And then you're gonna bring this all the way out until you're three blocks away from the edge of his head, you know, his head, you know, come, oh, coming off of his head. <laughs> so then you're gonna go in one block and go on top like this, then in another block, go like that. And then you're gonna go down here and you're going to do two blocks away from the side, a row of four, and then a row of two on top of that. And then just copy that on this side. And then over here, we're gonna do the same exact thing, except for obviously, you know, it's on this side now. You're gonna go in three blocks. There you go. Go all the way across. And then go on top. Then on top again. And then one, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Then again over here. One, one, two, three, four. One, two. And there you go, guys. So we are done with this part of the Ender Dragon. So now the last part we have to do is the inside. And this side, this part really depends on. You know, I'm gonna make mine like really kind of classy, I guess. Is like, you know, I'm gonna use wood and I want it to make it look completely different from the outside. Um, so this is really where you, you know, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, but it really depends on you guys if you guys wanna change things up a bit. But um, the actual inner dragon itself is actually officially done. We are done with it, guys. So let's get started on the inside. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started on the inside. So we're gonna come in here real quick and what we're gonna do is we're going to take out this floor. So we're gonna stay there real quick. All right, so now what you're gonna do, guys, is you're just gonna get the stone slab, or uh, sandstone. Uh, so let me just go through the items you're gonna need first. You're gonna need oak planks, spruce planks, sandstone, stone slabs, oak wood slabs, and bookshelves. You're gonna need some other stuff, but that's just the majority of the stuff you're gonna need. So go ahead and uh, throw down the sandstone on the bottom floor. It makes it look like it's got like a marbled flooring, you know, I like this one a lot. I use this for a lot of my houses, because I think it looks, you know, I don't know, I just think it looks nice, because it's more of like a, um, you know, it looks like marbled flooring, which I think is cool. A little classy, I guess you'd say. So, let's go ahead and clear this out. Oh my gosh, my room is so hot, you guys. Like, at least 600 degrees in here. And I have to turn the fan off and the air conditioner and everything in order to do these tutorials. That's why, like, if, that's, like, if it was a winter time, I have no problem with doing these tutorials, but this takes so long. It's so hot in here with the computer and everything else going, lights, and. Whew, 
the side. Okay, almost done with that. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going, uh, taking the uh, spruce wood, and we're going to be going around this whole, you know, thing right here. Just go around the whole way, all the way around the bottom layer, just like this. And this is just going to get some contrast to it. Jeez, can't even do it. Okay, there you go. Go along the side, the side, I mean, the uh, front, then go back the side, and then bring it up to the front of the door. Okay, so now from right here, what you're going to do is you're going to go up a total of four blocks with just the oak wood planks. So you're going to be doing it like, like one, two, three, four, and then you're going to do all this oak plank just like this, and you're going to be doing that all the way through for the, you know, the rest of the... You're gonna bring it around the whole way. Like I'm trying to hard, it's hard to explain, <laughs> I guess. But uh, just bring this, you know, oak wood plank all the way around the whole way through. Okay. All right, guys. So now that you have all that done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a spruce wood one more time and bring this all the way around the top of what we already have. So it should be spruced and four planks. Our first, uh, first, uh, well, can't even speak, guys. <laughs> one spruce, then four planks all the way around, and then we're gonna finish the top piece off with spruce as well. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna get glass panes. So we're gonna need that. Oops, and we're gonna need obsidian real quick so I can fix that. <laughs> and so go ahead and find the glass panes. We're gonna need that real quick. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here to the back, and you're gonna go two blocks in, and just take all of this out. You're gonna take all of this out, and this is basically where your window's gonna go. You're gonna stay two away from both sides, and just take out all of this, including the obsidian, and just clear it all out. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna just add our window. So just gonna add your glass panes into that square we have left here on the obsidian part. Don't wanna do it on the, uh, I don't know, you can, but I think it looks better if you do it on the obsidian because it makes the window like 3D-ish, I guess you could say. And <laughs> you can like have this little area right here, do whatever you want. Okay, so now you have that done. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a ladder and you're gonna go ahead and take that and you know, just put it wherever you need it, wherever the glass panes right now. And put that along the, the wall right here, just like this. And we'll get our bookcases and we're gonna put them in these little side pieces right here. We're gonna just go ahead and go up three blocks, just like this. And we're gonna do it on both sides. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna come in, maybe th we'll go in right, right here, I think it's good. And you're gonna add a couch. And you're just gonna get wood and you're gonna go uh, approximately, I'd say one, two, three, four, five blocks. There you go. And then bring it in like this. And then put uh, you know the slabs right here to make the cushions for the couch. And then you can get the buttons real quick. We can get rid of the ladder for now. And put those in the front to make it more couch-like. And then for the table, you're gonna go stone, stone, stone. And then you know fill it with the oak wood plank slabs, just like this. And then over here in the front, we're gonna go ahead and clear out our inventory real quick because we're gonna grab a few things. We're gonna grab a a crafting table, a furnace, an ender chest, a uh, regular chest, a anvil, and we're also going to grab a brewing stand. And we're just going to set all of that up. So over here I'm going to put the, what's it called, the, um, the anvil, the crafting table, the furnace, then I'm going to put the, uh, the brewing stand on top. <clears throat> and then over here I'm just going to put um, two regular chests and then an ender chest right here. That's gonna be what we have right here. And then you also, um, I'm not gonna do it right here, but you can put um, two square paintings right here like this. I'm not gonna go through the work of trying to, you know, get the square one. But you can put two square right there, or you can just leave it like that, it doesn't really matter. Now we're gonna go back and get our other stuff real quick that we need again. So from up here, what you're gonna need is, uh, you're gonna need to get the same thing we had before. You need to get the oak planks and the spruce planks. And then from right there, you're just gonna we're gonna go upstairs, and we're gonna do basically the same thing we did in that part, but we're gonna do it up here now. So what you're gonna do is you get your oak planks, and we're gonna clear in this whole area right here. So this whole part right here, this whole top layer is gonna be oak wood planks, and I'm not gonna cut this part out because you know it's, it's, we don't really need to. We can just fill it in real quick. I should probably get my swiftness again. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna cut it out. All you're gonna do is just from this top layer we just did, you're just gonna add the uh, the oak wood planks. All right, guys. So we just filled this whole place in right here with oak wood, and now what you're gonna do is we're gonna get our ladders again, 
and we're gonna go ahead and add this to this piece right here so we can get all the way up here. All right, and now what you're gonna do is we're gonna get our spruce wood and we're gonna go ahead and line this right one block away from the, you know, the, the wool on the eyeballs right there because we're gonna cover this up so we can't see it. And then we're gonna put oak wood all on top. We're just gonna cover this whole spot up so you can't see it anymore. You don't have to deal with it, you know? Okay, so we're gonna fill all that in so you don't have to see that anymore. The weird eyeball thing. Okay, and then now that we're done with that, what you're gonna do is, oh, top layer up here, sorry about that guys. Top layer up here, what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, take out the spruce wood. Uh, well, actually the second one, the spruce wood. So it's gonna be two away from the top and we're gonna put our spruce wood just like this along there and then get the oak wood and put that all on the top. And the reason why is because we're gonna do the whole roof as oak wood. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just fill up the whole roof with oak wood, uh, roof. <laughs> the whole roof with oak wood and you know, that'll be nice, okay? So, almost done here guys. We're getting towards the end of this, pretty much. We're just finishing this last room up. And then we'll be pretty much done. Okay, so, let's go ahead and fill this in. Oh my gosh, it takes forever. Okay, so almost done right here. One more. Okay, so, <laughs> now we have that part done. Now we have to do the walls. So for the walls, all you're gonna be doing is following this pattern right here along all these walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead. All right guys, so now we have all that done, we're gonna be working on the actual bedroom interior and then we'll be done. Okay, so what you're getting for this is stone slabs, a bed, chest, a furnace, um, furnace, um, crafting tables, or you don't need, yeah, you'll need one. Um, bookshelves, glass panes, and oak wood planks are necessary, but just in case you make any mistakes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the back of the room, which I can't even find, okay, here it is right here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did downstairs, you know, two blocks in and just destroy all of this. That way we have a window. And that's the basically just, you know, just give some light, natural light. We don't have to deal with any of that, you know, shade from not having light. I mean, you're obviously gonna put torches in here too, but I like to have windows because it adds natural light during the day. And it just makes it so you can look outside and not to, you know, be like, oh, is it raining out there? Or, you know, what's going on out there? I can't tell if there's a window. <laughs> so I like to add windows. Um, so we're going to just finish this up real quick with the uh, glass panes. Okay, perfect. All right. So now over here, what you're going to do is you're going to get your stone slabs. You're just going to go three, and then a fourth one, then two, then one, and then throw your bed in there. And then on this side, put two chests. On this side, put two chests. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and put the three. Um, bookshelves and then over here again three bookshelves. It's a very simple interior, nothing crazy. And then um, go ahead and put a crafting table over here, a furnace over here, then put two, uh, two chests and two chests and then we're done. And you can decide if you want to put a painting right here. I think it might have a painting right here which kind of goes in the middle and kind of you know squares everything up. But that's pretty much it though guys. So and then you know obviously you're gonna put a door here. Let's <laughs> go ahead and put the door real quick. Um, I'll put the door later. So you can put a door there obviously but anyway Sorry for that, uh, you know, for the tutorial being a little bit um, long. It's actually kind of big. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys can do me a huge favor and, you know, hit the like button. It took a lot of work to build this, and I was sitting in a boiling room the entire time, basically. <laughs> so if you could hit the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment, let me know what you guys think, and if you built it, Again, feel free to send it to me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Twitter. The links are below. I'd love to see your guys' version of it. I'd love to see it in your world and stuff. It's, I'd like to see that kind of thing. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the outro. On the left side of your screen, there's a previous video. You can go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to the last video I uploaded, which is a video of me talking about a new series I'm starting where I showcase uh, your guys' houses. So if you're interested in submitting your house for the series or you're interested then in, in general, go ahead and check that out. And on the right side of your screen, this is a recommended video, you can go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to a video I recommend for you because it's another house tutorial, but it's a castle house, so I think it's pretty cool, you should go check that out. And if you're on the mobile app, you can check out both of those videos by clicking the card annotation on the, or the, the card button on the top right side of your screen, the little circle. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in following me on Twitter or Instagram, the links are below. Please hit the video with a like and a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!